this is odd. What does this button do? What does it do? Nothing. It's just the amp has changed a little. Okay, you got 20 people. Yo, what's happening? Did we scare you? <laughs> we scared ourselves. <clears throat> Good evening, guys. Thank you for joining us this uh, Thanksgiving e week. Scotty and myself, good, e good evening to everybody. Oh, you like the ambiance. Scotty, I got your message. We'll get that for you today. Um, just wanted to say hello. Butchie, what's up? Mm -hmm. Scotty, slide over here so we have some product behind us. Okay. It looks better. Good evening. You got me and Scotty back. Hi, Gene, Gene, the dancing machine. Gene, I called you back, but it was a couple hours late, and I'm sorry. Virginia, how good was her chicken pot pies? Virginia Lewis's chicken pot pie. She's out there. Oh, yep. On the money. Wanda, how are you? Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Oh, Mike Morgan's out there. Hey, it goes with the music. I missed it tonight. Hello. Hey, Mom, I'm doing my live show. I'll call you as soon as I'm done. Love ya. Love ya. Sorry about that. Thank you for joining us, and good evening. Mike Morgan, what's happening? What's happening? How do you like that, huh, Butchie? I boxed, you know that, not oranges. 
Mr. Brown, how are you? Scotty, you're hiding on everybody. So, guys, let's get started tonight. Let's get our vacuum machines going. Come on, Scotty. I will tell mom hello. Push the heating button two times. I did. Got it. So, Scotty and myself got our vacuum machines warming up nice and hot. Scotty, come on over and join us. Uh, it's okay. See. Leave it. It's okay. This one? Leave it. Okay. It's okay. So, back to vacuum machines. My vacuum machines have been warming up for about 20 minutes. You know, they do have an automatic shutoff. That is for CE certification. It has to shut itself down. So, with that being said, good, Scotty. Okay. So with that being said, come on over, Scotty. The first thing you want to do, hello. Sorry about that, guys. So with that being said, I got our vacuum machine nice and hot. Come on over, Scotty. Let's grab the camera. I want to show everybody a little something tonight. First of all, when using your vacuum machine, always have your protective gloves on. When you are using the vacuum bag, which is what we're going to be using first this evening, you're simply going to take the hose that's connected right here to the vacuum membrane. As you see right here, mm -hmm. you're going to unscrew it, take it out, and put that right to the side. You are then going to use your vacuum bag. You're going to connect your vacuum bag right to the plug like so for the pressure. That is what's going to suck down to do our 10 inch plate. We, we pre-did our images tonight guys because they were larger images. So, and basically we want to show you how to use it. So right now for a 10 inch ceramic plate I'm going to push the time setting button once. The most important part of your machine, so let's start from the beginning, is you hit the power button once, you push the heating button two times, okay? Then you will push your time setting. So for a 10 inch plate, I'm going to set it for 10 minutes because my machine is piping hot. And this is going to be so simple and easy to make. My time is set. I'll close my machine down, my bracket to close my vacuum bag is right over here at arm's reach. Scotty, I printed out something pretty for Christmas this evening. Mm. If you'd like to show everybody, I'm just going to simply trim right around and get my excess paper off. No, there's no set. You usually want about a half inch of the excess paper going around. So it doesn't have to be exact, as you see. I'm just cutting away here, just to get rid of that excess. Easier to slide in the bag, number one. Easier to position on the plate, number two. So with that being said, I'm going to grab my 10-inch plate. I did put the product link up for the items we're using first this evening. You might want to just blow up, just to see if there's any dust or debris, anything in the air, because it is in a cardboard box. Now this is where a lot of people get nervous, right here, Scotty. What they'll do is, they have to understand, when you're holding it in place with two pieces of tape, you don't want to force that tape tightly around here. You want to put the tape gentle. In other words, I'm not securing it tight. Do you follow me? I'm not mm -hmm. pushing secure because when I put my plate into the machine, I don't want it too tight. The membrane, when it pushes down, it's going to tear my paper. Yes. Okay, so with that being said, Scotty, let's grab our glove. I'm going to put two on right now. And while that's going, we're going to also do a mug in our vacuum machine. And we can answer any questions. See how easy I'm just sliding so... my plate right in. Nice and easy. Why the bag and not just You the cannot do press. a 10 inch plate in the membrane on top. You will snap the rubber membrane. An 8 inch plate, which we can do after you do in the rubber membrane. This is made for the larger items, the curved glass that we'll show you in a moment. And I'm simply going to push the vacuum button down. And what's going to happen is my membrane 
or should I say my bag is acting as my membrane, is going to vacuum right around the whole plate. And you're gonna push your creases right out. It is inevitable, guys, you might get a crease or two. You have to be careful with what you're designing. I'm gonna check my connection, everything looks good. I'm just gonna push those out. I'm gonna come back in a few minutes. Now, another important part, please, is when you close this down, do not, I repeat, do not put that metal inside the machine. Push the timing button and let it start counting down. The reason you don't put this in the machine, it's gonna get burning hot. Hot enough that it will burn your hands through the gloves. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit down secure. Our heat is going, our vacuum is pumping. While that's going, at the same time we're gonna do our full bleed mug, we're gonna do a dog bowl at the same time, guys. So we got our large dog bowl right here. And Scotty, any questions while we're going along? Um, any other items you can use the vacuum bag for? Use it for flask and curved glass. And you're gonna use it for supple lamp tonight. Ooh. So, just keep those questions coming, please. Okay. Thank you. I have two and a half inches, so I don't want my lettering to be no bigger than two inches high. My circumference is pretty large at 22 inches. So basically, to do a full bleed dog bowl, you're not, you want to keep it very simple. So what I'm going to do is, I'm simply going to take out my 8.5 by 14 paper, and I'm going to use my mug size paper, the smaller, which is the 3.5 by 9, if I'm correct, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to adjust my tray to have my paper fit nice and snug in there. And I'm going to put it right into the machine. I'm going to go right into Creative Studio. I know who did that. Oh, and I know who wants that. There we go, guys. Basically what I did here, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to just launch in to Creative Studio Design. We're going to log in. And once we get up and running, we're going to go right to our mug template paper. So once I hit product, I know automatically to go right to the mug paper. Whoops. Uh, Butch says, I have the three cow udder for sports bottles that, but that creases and leaves a line. Is it green, I bet? Will the bag correct that? Is the, what he using green in color? That's what I want to know first. Good question. I don't know. Can you ask him, please? Oh. Uh, Unless I'm talking to myself today. So I'm going to put the dog paws in. And I'm going to turn them around and just have it right. Let's go rotate 90. I said my height can't be no more than two inches, if I was correct on my measurement. I'm going to double check. And two inches was good. So I'm going to go two and a quarter right there. I'm going to stretch my paws going around a little. And maybe we'll just throw in uh, my cat's names. Whoops, I'm not spelling good. C A T and Cleo, oh, my cat's names Sorry. right in there. I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to go to object, I'm going to go to text font, I'm going to get out my text, I'm going to pop it right in, right about there, fix my background a little, go object, align horizontally, align vertically, object, align horizontally, align vertically, 
and I'm going to send it right to our sublimation printer. So once it goes to our sublimation printer, we're going to remember we're making ceramic tonight. So we're going to follow the path of ceramic, text print R, auto tray select, high quality. My job is color is a graphic. And I'm simply going to hit print. How's our plate doing, Scotty? We got five minutes to go already. Time flies when you're having not fun, huh? Hmm? So, Scotty, look. I open it up, bring them over here. Look, I'm pushing my creases now. Look how easy they're coming right out of the plate, guys. Remember all the creases that were there before? They're almost gone. They're dissipated away. It's all soft now. See how I'm working it? And I'm going to close that right down. That's going to come out gorgeous. So once our image comes out for our bowl, we're then going to grab a larger sheet of mug paper, which we have right over here. And we are going to do our full bleed mug with a wrap at the same time. Two products, one time, guys, in our vacuum. Oh, shoot. Butch forgot about the bleed on the 500 ml flask. Ah. So product one, my dog bowl. I'm going to secure the image into the designated area of my bowl, like so. You might, to make it easier, want to do the fold like we always do with mugs. And there's my center point. So then I line it up into the center of the bowl and I'm simply gonna wrap it around. I know my paper is cut even, so I don't have to worry about that part. I just gotta worry that it looks even on the other side. So what I'll do is I'll just pull my paper down just a tad. Right about there, perfect. And if you want, you could fold over the excess because there is no transfer there. And we're gonna get it ready by simply taking our rubber wrap wrapping it around the dog bowl. The wrap has two sides. If you notice, there's a flat side mm -hmm. and a beveled side. The flat side goes towards the substrate, which would be the dog bowl, the mug, or whatever you're making. You're simply going to take those two, and you're going to secure them with the two clips. There's one. Yeah, you caught that live. Two. That's it. Mm -hmm. My machine, piping hot, 12 minutes. While I'm designing my mug, I'm going to put my dog bowl in, and I'm going to push the timing button and start it. My dog bowl is cooking. I'm going to open up over here one last time before I get the mug in there. My plate is going to look perfect, because I can already see, if you look, the transfer is starting to bleed onto my bag a little which means I got great heat and pressure. Maybe if you want to zoom in over there a little, Scotty, to show them. Thank you. That's cooking down. Let's go for our full bleed mug real quick. Select all, object, delete, product. This is gonna be so easy, guys. Watch this. I'm just gonna grab my large mug size paper. Got it? Right there. Image. <clears throat> this is going to be an easy one. What better to use than my logo? And Butch was using a green type. I know it was green. That's why I asked what color, Butch. Mm -hmm. It's a different arrow rubber. This product we're using, these wraps, just a lot of people probably don't understand or don't know what it even is. It's called arrow rubber. Arrow rubber is a space age rubber. It was actually used on the space shuttle Columbia and all the space shuttles. It's a heat resistant rubber and an actual name of this product is called Arrow Rubber. Okay? Oh, Cassandra. Okay, 
Thanks. She's validating our files. Our plate is just about finished. Come on over, guys. Let's check it out, Scotty. So is there going to be any sort of excess residue? On the bag? Will, yes. That always, will carry you will to always have residue. How you get rid of the residue is while your machine is hot, you leave your wrap, your bag, or the membrane that's on top, just leave it closed. That'll bake off the excess sublimation ink that's on there. Okay, Scotty, our plate is just about finished. So I'm gonna start, it's about 10 seconds to go. I'm gonna unscrew. Our machine's gonna beep. Release. Remember what I said, this is not burning hot, so that was easy to handle. I push the timing button once. I open it up. I take my plate out. Peel off my paper. There you go. We get a little love on that. How do we do, guys? Liking it? Now, let that hot plate cool down for a moment because that is very hot. Um, can we stand it up? Nope. On some, oh, I think we have a stand right in here, Scotty. Uh, will that melt it? We're going to find out, aren't we? Because we didn't get a better view. Zoom in on that color for them, Scotty. Okay. Put that camera down and zoom in on it. Do the zoom like I do. Let them see the color. Oh, okay. Okay, we got our image coming out. Stay right there with it. We get a little lumpy in here. You like that, huh? Hey, let's zoom in on that puppy a little. Wham! Look at that color. Look at that rich blue. Look at that. Come on. Give me a little love. That's a, that's a glare right there. You know that. A little love on those colors. All that glare. <laughs> Scotty, and it didn't break. You were right about the stand, though. Look, it didn't break. How's that? It didn't break. Look at that. You like that, huh? Scotty was right. The stand melted. Scotty, we got our doggy bowl in. We got our print coming out for our full bleed. So easy. Let me grab a mug. Now, you were asking about the residue. Scotty, if you can come over here. Mm -hmm. There is residue on the bag. See how this is darker blue than that? I'm able to touch this. This residue is great for ornaments, everything in the bag with the vacuum. This will dissipate away. It will not go on anything unless it's not covered with paper. If you have an exposed ceramic and have a little image on it, yes, it will leave a mark. Transfer coming out in a second. Got a maintenance going. Good. And our dog bowl is in there already. Got it. So we have that coming out. Um, we're also going to show you with the bag tonight a piece of curved glass. Scotty, any questions about the plates while we're going that I'm uh, missing? Uh, no. No. Here's another item that you will do in your vacuum bag that goes with the vacuum press is curved glass. 
comes with nice packaging for you to put it back in. There's the glass side. There is your sublimatable side. If you put that piece in the membrane, it would crush it. Scotty, you want to show them some examples of the curved glass we have up there? The Santa Claus, the baby, the Disney, one of your favorites that we did. <laughs> want to pull out the Disney, show them the color? How they like that? Can we get any love? Our mug transfer is coming out right now, guys. Our dog bowl is cooking. You're gonna cook one mug for 12 minutes, 12 mugs for about 20 minutes with the wraps. Now, to everybody that's using wraps and deciding to go this route, which is a, it's a good route, and I, I admire it, but you also need to understand in the same note, you need to have two sets of wraps if you're doing 24 mugs because you are not going to take 12 wraps off that are gonna be over 400 degrees hot, burning, and try to wrap another mug with it. You're gonna let them cool down and get the next batch in. You're simply gonna put your wrap in like so, male to female, and let it click right on. Mm -hmm. Ready to go. This goes in upside down in the machine like so. That's gonna bake for 12 minutes. We're gonna reset the machine for nine. When we come back, we're gonna go right over to our curved glass while everything's cooking. Give a quick measurement. We have eight. Virginia Lewis says, make sure you don't do the mug upside down. Never. <laughs> we have a six by eight going on here. So if I go to products, and now I decide to print on my eight and a half by 11 paper. Knowing I have a six by eight image going in, make it very simple. I'm gonna hit right over to my eight and a half by 11 paper. Six inches high, so I'm going to go about 610, 615, and it's eight inches wide, so I'm going to go about 815. All right, how much does a vacuum press run? The special for the page is 999. It includes two 11 ounce wraps, a 15 ounce wrap, an extra membrane, and a box of samples to practice with. Now, guys, I want you to remember something. Uncheck mirror image when doing curved glass. Uncheck mirror image when doing curved glass or glass plates because we are printing on the back. That's why we will uncheck mirror image. We got our image coming out. The bag is ready. It's cleaning away its sublimation ink. We got our dog bowl cooking. We got our mug in already. It's nice and cooled now almost. Let me try another stand here. Try one more time at the village gate. Or we won't. Oh, now somebody needed a plug. Thank you. somebody. Any questions, Scotty? Mm. None? Mm. When doing our glass frame, I'm going to cut the edges of the paper off. And I'm going to leave myself about a half inch border on the side, about a quarter inch border on the top, like so. I'm going to take two pieces of heat tape. I'm going to secure them on the white side without hitting the ink. I'm going to take my glass frame. 
and because I could see through it, I'm gonna wrap it. Now when I'm wrapping it, guys, the excess sublimation can fold over because the front is not coated. There we go. Now it makes it a lot easier for me to handle, a lot easier for me to line up and get right into that hot vacuum bag. It's ready to go. Smooth, done. That's how easy. I'm gonna open up our vacuum bag like so. Please have your gloves on when you do this. You're gonna open it up. Drop as many of the glass in as you can. Again, please have your gloves on when doing this. I'm gonna secure it right here. At the same time, our dog bowl is done. I'm gonna hit my time setting for seven minutes. Vacuum. It's gonna contour right around it. Any creases or anything, again, don't panic. You know the rule, just wipe them right out. Gloves on. Let's get our creaser out. Mm -hmm. There we go. We're gonna come back, that's gonna soften up and we're gonna push it right out. Close your lid down, push the timing button. This is finished. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna push my timing button one more time because we have our mug still cooking. When I put the bowl in, if you notice, I put it in upside down because heat rises. I want the heat to get trapped inside the bowl, making it hotter. Remove my wrap like so. Take my paper. Oh, this one didn't come out. Nope, too light. Too light. Sorry, guys. It was a little too light. I'm going to have to do that one again. I'm sorry about that. But we're going to let those two cook. But I know what you really want to see is the lamp. So let's turn the mug press on, Scotty. Oh, okay. We have our mug press on. This is Sublo lamp, guys. Comes packaged like shown. Now, be very careful when unpackaging. It is very fragile inside because you have a lot of glass in here. Come on over, Scotty. If I have something to lean on. I'm going to disassemble it. Take my box out first. There is my little holder and my base. So I'm gonna set my base down right to the side with my little holder for my oils. I'm going to open the box like so. And I'm going to take out our glass. Can you do cell phone cases and the vacuum press as well? You would need a mold. Uh, can you do a dog bowl and sub lamp in a convection oven using wraps? Yes, you can. I believe the 11 ounce wrap should fit around here. We could check it as soon as we're done. It might okay. be a little big. Let me get my parts out so if we can hold on for a yep. minute. Thank you. Maybe a water bottle wrap? Probably. So, Scotty, I'm going to just take this over here. I don't want to break anything. And there is our glass lamp. I already tightened up our mug press to fit our sublo lamp in. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it set for 350, 380 for 30 seconds. 
Again, that's 350, 380 for 30 seconds. Let's grab our image. We have our image right here on our eight and a half by 11 paper. Three and a half inches high is my maximum height. But we could stretch this out a little to go around the lamp, correct? Yep. Because we have about 10 inches to go around the lamp. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go three and a half high, about seven inches long, right there. Now, because I'm printing onto the lamp, I am going to mirror image. Our mug press is alerting us that it's up and ready. Yep, that's the bag we're using, ZKMFD. Mirror image, I have to recheck because I'm going now on a substrate. So our print's going to be coming out. Our mug press is all set. Our little crease is pretty much gone. Shouldn't do that without a glove. Very hot area we're working with. Now the wrap, any wrap that you're using, you can always put in the machine to clean it if you feel it's going to get dirty on you. That's okay, Carolyn. How are you, love? We're just playing around a little tonight with vacuum machines. So everything is cooking. I'm going to open it up. My crease is pretty much gone out of there. Oh, yes, the vacuum bags are back in stock. Yes, they are. I will put up the product links tonight. That's got a lot of heat in there. I just want to see something, guys. Our image came out, Scotty. Let's get it on the lamp. So we're going to trim it down. We're going to leave about a quarter inch border around the whole thing. Maybe a half again on the sides. Okay, yes, you can do cell phone cases in them, but again, you're going to need the bolt. Correct. 3D cases um, require... I don't think we have one in here. Whoops. To do 3D phone cases, you have to have one of these. Every phone case requires one. It's not a universal fit. I'm going to wrap my image right around my lamp, like so. Our vacuum bag is done. We're going to close that down. Make sure we have everything inside. And we're going to push the start button. Let me grab my gloves, guys, because it's going to get a little hot over there. Ready, Scotty? Let's see how we did here. Open up. Notice when I open, I do not remove the screw. There's a spring in there. You don't want to lose it, especially if you undo the wrong side. Check that out, baby. Zoom in on that, Scotty, a little bit, man. Okay. How do you like that curved glass? Come on, give us some love out there. Oh, you like that, Jason? Thank you. Thank you. So, guys. 
I'm gonna remove my vacuum bag. Slide it out. And that's gonna be finished. What was the time we used on the curved glass? Seven minutes, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna put our top piece back in. Our lamp is finished. I put my topper back in. Now remember, my glass is gonna be extremely, as you see, hot. And that's how I do my lamp. And we'll put it together in a few minutes. How do we like our lamp, Scotty? Pretty good. Do we get any love? Oh, shoot. Okay. There we go, guys. Let me zoom in on it. Let me see some color. I don't want you to be afraid. You like that, huh? Very easy. You could do that in a mug press. I'm going to head back over to the vacuum press right now, guys. Our top piece is in. Scotty took the liberty. He wants me to show you guys a slate before we end the show tonight. Scotty, what was this you cut out, you said? I'm sorry. Oh, it was a uh, bat. One more time? Uh, that is a nighttime shot of Banff in Canada with the Aurora Borealis. Scotty wanted to make that on a slate tonight. Let's see how that color pops that he picked. Come on over, Scotty. See what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open up my rock slate. My stands are inside. Now, I'm going to be watching my slate to see where the most indentations are. That's the cleanest part. That is going to be my top. I want the top to be the cleanest part, if you follow me. Now I'm just going to grab that, and I'm going to take two pieces of heat tape to hold it right in place, like so. I'm going to grab my heat glove. Get my time right here. My machine is so nice and hot. I got about seven minutes. I'm gonna up it up to nine. I'm gonna close that lid down. I'm gonna push time setting. And I'm gonna up it up to nine minutes. Like so. You can do the slip in either. Now, I'm gonna push vacuum. You could do the slate neither, but watch. When I push vacuum for my flat items, this is what's gonna have all that color contour into the bevels of our slate without leaving a white edge because the way the vacuum is sucking it down. We're gonna close our lid down and we're gonna hit the timing button. Check on this little puppy right now. Unhook. Peel it off. Mm -hmm. Full bleed, top to bottom, all the bevels. Look at the bottom bevel, the hardest part to do on a mug. I'm gonna cool that right down. Look, water. Everybody today was yelling about water. Now, if you notice, look right here. I got a lot of residue on my wrap. I'm simply gonna leave my wrap in my machine tonight with my vacuum bag in my machine tonight. Machine is nice and hot. That's gonna dissolve any excess sublimation and I would simply just turn my machine off and that's how you clean your rubber wraps. Very easy. Our mug is cooled down. Full bleed, ready to go, Scotty. Right out of the mm -hmm. water. How do you like that bottom bevel? Beautiful. Let that water drip off. 
We got some love out there for that one? Yep. Any questions? While our slate is cooking, Scotty, the lamp's gonna cool down. I'm gonna put the lamp together for everybody. These are your rocks for your slate. So if we could put the camera right over here, it would be great. And you can come over here on this side and join me. Okay. Come on over, Scotty. Okay. Okay, guys, so in the bag with the lamp, I have my base, which is the top touch lamp. You have the oil burner glass, which is right here. Now, if you're gonna use the oil burner, you must install the purple tube, which is what's gonna throw your color off a little, honestly. But that, again, is up to you. So, you have three pins on the side. You have three pins. Right here, with the rubber ends, your glass tube, your burner for oil, and your lamp will go on top. So let's go grab our lamp. It's already cooled down to the touch. Mm -hmm. Cools down very quick. Now guys, I wanna explain something to you. Our lamp, the plug has an adapter, which comes with it free for 110 volt. Okay, just wanted to alert you of that. So let me grab our parts right here. Our slate is cooking. So by the time our slate is done, Scotty, we should have it uh, pretty much together. I'm gonna go without the cylinder because I like the bright white coming out. So you wanna position it into up your liking. So that would be my front. I'm simply going to take the little screw and I'm going to go right in like so. Just to secure it in place is one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to follow the path, which that means if one is there, number two is right there. And there's number two. And there is number three. Now to secure it in place, once you have all three pins in, guys, you get three little rubber edge stompers that go right over for the nipple. And that will cover that to secure the lamp right into place and make it secure for you. Very simple, very fast, and very easy to make. Let's plug it in and see how it looks. These are our touch lamp, which I'll put up the links for everything tonight when we're done, just in case there's any questions. So what settings do you want to do a uh, slate on a flat press for? Slate on a flat press, you want to do 400 degrees. A slate on a flat press is 400 degrees for seven minutes to eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Flat press will work fine with a slate. I like personally using it better in the vacuum in my opinion. Oops, I pulled the bulb out, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, we do sell the 3D vacuum press. Yep, I'll put the link up for that, too, if they'd like. Whoop. Oh, okay, from Beth. Um, do you have to worry about the little extra papers in the vacuum press? No. No, never. Nope. That'll just dissipate away. It always does. Our slate is cooking real nice in there, Scotty. Can't wait to see that color. Any other questions while we're going? No, should I put up some product links? Okay. Okay, why don't you show them around what could be done with the vacuum press, Scotty? Okay. Show them all the different slates, show them the rocks on this wall behind us, and I'll put up the links for the products for everybody. Let's see, all oh, this wall. Um, most of this wall, uh, apart from 
couple cups which have plastic, but yeah, all of this ceramic, all of these vacuum press. Let's see, all the vacuum press again. Oh, and also 20 ounce mug. You can do this in the vacuum press, not in a mug press. Scott, I'm putting up all the links for all the products for everybody. Oh. Slow down, you're going too fast. Mm. Okay, we got our slate cooking. I'm just straightening up before we get out of here because we got a nice Thursday Thanksgiving day off. Any other questions, Scotty, while we're going? I put up all the links for the products. Any questions? No, we're good? Super. Our slate should just about be done. Whoops, turn our mug press off. Put our glass into the wall of fame. Uh, charcoal gray mugs? No. That looks great. That's doing its final countdown. Any other questions, Scotty, while we're going along? No? No. Good. It means we did good tonight. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to get their vacuum presses out. Wow. Look at that. Come on over. Look at that color coming right through. The vacuum's going to release. Let it pop open by itself. Look how the green and the oranges went into the bevels of the sides of the rock by where my finger is. All down the sides, all down the front, the top, the bottom. That is one beautiful rock. And right into the water a little, very hot, cool it down a little. Look at that. I want to cool it down so I could stand it up for everybody. There you go, Scotty. Zoom in on that color for them. All right. We're going to turn our vacuum machine down. How's that looking, guys? That's what I'm talking about. That's the way you want to see it. You like that or what? That's how you make them slates in the vacuum. Did it come out to fine? No, I don't think so. No. That's just the setting of the camera. Nope, only our back. Well, there's other manufacturers. No, that's not light. That's the camera with this with the color. Do you have the yeah, original? The you've zoomed it in. Right. Yeah. There you go. Color's perfect actually. Tomorrow, Virginia. I'll do some more vacuum pressing tomorrow with you guys. Too much to cover in one day with a vacuum press, and I felt like we're rushing around. Come on over, Scotty. Okay. I felt like we were rushing tonight, so I'm going to do a little more with the vacuum press again tomorrow night with you guys. We'll cover some more wraps and stuff. Come on, slide over, Scotty. So, and I don't like to rush what we do, so we'll get some more items out. We'll put up a viewer's mm -hmm. choice. About the paper. Didn't you answer that? Yes, I did. The paper doesn't will not affect it at all, Beth. They won't catch fire, Beth. 
Uh, you're welcome, Mike. And um, no problem. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Get your vacuum presses out for the holiday. I'm Michael. I'm Scott. Have a great night, because you know what we love to do? Sub you up.